Maxine with the extra X's here as in three of them but um, yeah does that mean three pools of blood I don't know uh, we'll see but let's start off here with the IMDb plot uh, in the 1980s Hollywood adult film star and aspiring actress Maxine Minx finally gets her big break but as a mysterious killer stalks the starlets of Hollywood a trail of blood threatens to reveal her sinister past. All right. Um, so as many of you know, a um, lot of buzz uh, about um, Maxine, uh, X, uh, Pearl. Um, you know, this is number three now of this uh, trilogy and then probably the, the final nail in the coffin here on this one. Um, Definitely been an interesting ride, and, and I guess I'll maybe kind of comment on, on all three, you know, after I kind of get through, you know, talking about this one and kind of where where it started, where it ended, and, and overall thoughts um, on everything. But, you know, let's kind of start off here focusing on this one. Um, obviously, a, a fairly new movie, and it finally hit streaming, so I was able to catch it. Um, so I know, you know, maybe many of you have already seen it. Uh, but since it is, is new, we'll try to kind of keep this spoiler-free, sort of, uh, as much as possible. I guess there are some uh, twists and turns, or at least some um, secrets, at least to where, you know, this all goes. So if you haven't seen it, and you've seen the first two, and don't really want to know kind of how it ends, I'll kind of uh, save that for, for you guys. But, uh, yeah, you know, we kind of continue on Maxine's adventure here. Um, we've kind of seen, you know, where she was and, and uh, kind of how she got started and um, you know now in a in a different place in her life uh, as she is an adult film star trying to make a name obviously as we've seen her in the other ones she wants to be famous and um, you know in a good way or a bad way you know I, I don't know um, we've also seen her along the way go crazy and kill a bunch of people so um, you know she may again be famous uh, for all the wrong reasons at the end of the day. We don't, we don't know. Um, so, yeah, we see her here. She's in an adventure. She um, kind of lands in a place where, um, you know, she, she is still kind of struggling, you know, to find her way. You know, she maybe, you know, wants to maybe break away from being an adult film star or, or maybe wants to, you know, kind of maybe be bigger than she, she is where, you know, as she is. Uh, obviously, you know, she has obviously faith in herself and she thinks she's a star, wants to be a star. And um, she's kind of on this this chance to, you know, make it. She, she has another film opportunity um, that, that you know, she feels is, is going to finally uh, put her on the map, finally put her in the place that, that she wants to be and finally be this, this star that, that she believes she always has been. Um, unfortunately, you know, there's this guy that comes around and, um, a, a private investigator who, you know, claims to be working for somebody and, um, you know, it's going to kind of try to make it difficult and, and maybe, um, you know, put, you know, a, a, a make a big problem and, and kind of dampen her, her chance here to be a big star. Uh, so she has to find a way to kind of deal with it. Um, you know, whether her own or, or with maybe some help. Um, and that's kind of what we have here going. Um, like I said, I, I don't want to spoil it, spoil it where it goes and so forth. Um, but, you know, we're, we're going to kind of see her, see her kind of interact with people, kind of, um, you know, see that she still has that kind of dark side to her. Um, you know, she can kill, she can do bad stuff. Uh, there is a scene kind of maybe earlier in the film uh, where, you know, this guy thinks he's going to take advantage of her, thinks that, you know, he's caught her in this alley or whatever. And, uh, yeah, he picked the wrong girl. Uh, you know, <laughs> not not so, so great of a choice there. And, uh, you know, she flips things on him, you know, fairly quickly. And uh, let's just say it doesn't end well. Uh, for him. Um, alongside, you know, uh, kind of in this whole mess is, is a couple of police officers who are also doing their own investigation. Um, you know, not as, as too far-fetched that, you know, some people around her have died 
and uh, the police, you know, are, are have some questions and, and so forth. So she has a lot going on. You know, she's tried to be this star. She's trying to make it. Uh, but, you know, she, you know, she has somebody who's digging up some stuff on her. Um, you know, she's kind of dealing with trying to, to stay on point here with this new film. And, and then we have the police here as well. So uh, she's kind of juggling a, a lot of things here uh, to, to kind of go um, and, and make it and so forth. But, um, you know, that, that's kind of where it is. And then obviously there's something bigger at hand here. Um, we're going to find out about her and we're going to find out who this person that this PI kind of works for. And uh, that's going to kind of play a role in, in where the, the back half of the end of the film is. Uh, but I, I don't want to mention too much. I'll leave that for, for you guys to see and kind of uh, keep that spoiler free. Um, what I can say is, you know, I, I thought, uh, you know, maybe there wasn't as much killing. You know, I, I thought, you know, between the first two uh, in the franchise here, um, had some definitely good horror moments, uh, some moments that, that very kind of tied to classic horror moments and, and moments that you want to see in a horror movie. And I, I thought maybe this one got away from that a little bit, um, you know, got away from her, you know, truly kind of embracing that uh, kind of crazy serial killer side of her. Obviously, you know, when things got tough, you know, she wasn't afraid, you know, she's not uh, scared. Um, you know, she, she does run from the PI at one point or whatever, blah, blah, blah and there's this huge chasing, uh, but still, uh, you know, I think at the end of the day, she still kind of has that killer, serial killer in her. Uh, but I don't think in this film it kind of comes out as much as the others. And that was a little bit disappointing. Um, definitely wanted to kind of continue on that and see more of that. And, and I thought that maybe that was a little more hidden. Um, I also really didn't care for where the story goes. Now, I, I don't remember, you know... Uh, the whole talk about where, you know, after they did the first one, if they originally had all three of these films kind of in mind or just with the success of the first one, then they decided to do two. Uh, you know, I don't know if they had a beginning and end, if this was the original end to it. Um, but I really didn't care for where it ended up going. Uh, obviously, it tied into her past and 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 so forth. And like I said, I, I, I kind of want to be vague with that. I don't want to give it away in case you haven't seen it. Um, but they kind of tie it into something else that kind of went um, in that time period, uh, in that year. Um, uh, once they kind of say it, if you're kind of maybe into true crime or into, you know, maybe a little bit of the history of, of Hollywood and whatever, um, at the time period that they kind of say, uh, you'll kind of know. And, and, and like I said, I don't want to be specific. I'm going to leave that out in case you haven't seen the film yet. Uh, but I'll just say that, you know, once you see it and you probably know what I'm talking about, I didn't like that tie in. I don't like that. They tied her to that. Um, I didn't like that storyline. Um, you know, I really wish they would have just maybe kept it a little bit more, you know, original, uh, or to her own thing and not have to tie it to something that, you know, people knew and, and so forth. Um, not sure why they did that. I'm not sure if maybe I missed something in one of the first other two movies that really kind of tied it to that. Uh, maybe I did, and you know, and maybe I don't remember. Maybe I wasn't expecting it. Um, you know, I don't know if we teased that at any point in the first two. Um, but I, I don't know. I didn't like that. Uh, you know, while the ending was, you know, presented a, a very interesting kind of scene and sequence there. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I didn't like where they tied her to and, uh, you know, what you kind of find out about her and then how they, they kind of wrap up her kind of crazy, you know, her crazy side of the story. Obviously you kind of see her, you know, as she kind of finally kind of makes it big. Um, but at least, you know, her killer side of her, you know, I guess, you know, you want to fill in the gaps and maybe why she is, but I thought we kind of already did. Uh, but they kind of want to, you know, add something to it or whatever. Um, I don't know. I, I just say that I, I didn't like that tie-in and, and really wish they would have just done something different. And, and and again, with this one, I wish they would have kind of kept her more to her killer side. Um, you know, I know, I guess, you know, she's really in Hollywood now. She's in a different kind of setting from being out on this farm to, you know, being, uh, you know, back when she was kind of just starting and, and kind of more in a, even more still a secluded kind of area. And now she's in a bigger area. Maybe it's harder, but 
Uh, still, uh, I, I would have wished they would have kind of kept it to that. Um, but I, I thought they got away with that. So, um, you know, obviously Mia Goss still does a terrific job. It's a great character for her um, and, and so forth. Again, you know, I guess to kind of bring everything together, I, I think, you know, maybe, you know, I I don't remember what I, I, I think I kind of set to the standard and, and kind of, you know, said that X was the best of them. Two was, you know, Pearl was pretty good, uh, but maybe not as good. I, I think it was close. I, I think if I remember correctly, um, you know, I, I did like it and say that it was fairly close, but maybe um, not all the way there and then obviously this one i think this one kind of falls off for me i i think i did see one or two other people kind of say that this one just didn't kind of cut it for them uh and this one just doesn't cut it for me neither uh i i, I don't think it really tra stayed as true obviously she had to develop as a character and be in a different place and you had to kind of find the ending for her but i i didn't like it i didn't like what they did and where they went whatever um you know i and i don't think you know it's you know, the best performance of the three, um, and probably because it's not the best of the, her character. And obviously her character had much bigger and better things to do in the, in the first two uh, uh, movies. So um, definitely, you know, I think this kind of follows the standard path with probably the first one being the best one. Second one was fairly close. I, I really did like Pearl and liked a lot of the stuff they did in it. And, and I think I echoed that if I remember correctly in, in doing the re re review for Pearl. Um, but this one definitely just kind of, just, you know, kind of fell further down, down the road, um, with that, uh, um, as, as, you know, like I said, you know, as far as, you know, the deaths in it, as far as the killing in it, as far as her craziness, I, I don't think it, it just, it reaches to the same levels of the first two movies at, at all. Um, so it, it was a, a, a little bit of disappointment there and I just didn't like where, where they kind of went with it. Um, so with that, I think I'm going to give it 2.5 pools of blood. You know, did I expect to give it that? Probably not. I was hoping for more and bigger things and whatever. Um, but you know, sometimes, you know, these franchises or whatever don't come to the ending you want. And, and I don't think that this one did, at least for me, uh, maybe for you, maybe you liked where it ended and, and everything. Uh, but I, I didn't, uh, you know, I, I, I expected bigger and, it, and, and better things and it just didn't. Um, so yeah, you know, I think, you know, X, you know, to kind of sum it up, X was really good, kind of really felt like a, 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 a you know, a, a true horror movie back in the day. And then kind of two kind of followed on that and built on that and, and kind of really gave you some horror moments and this one just didn't. Um, as much so I'm going to give this one 2.5 pools of blood and you know that's kind of the sum of uh, you know quick summary of, of all of them and my thoughts on all of them but obviously have reviews for those so you guys can go back and catch those if you want um, but yeah 2.5 pools of blood for this one uh, a little disappointing from what I wanted so uh, with that uh, that is 2.5 pools of blood out of five um, and uh, with that, horrorsquarryreviews.blogspot.com is where you can find all of my reviews, uh, written and video. Uh, certainly mostly video reviews of late, so you can definitely um, just like and subscribe like everybody wants to do here on YouTube uh, to make it easy. But um, if not, if you don't want to, that, that's okay, truly okay. I thank you for your time regardless. Um, Twitter, Facebook information down below, you can join me there. Uh, talk about horror there with me. If you want me to review something, uh, just let me know. And uh, definitely in the comment section, um, your thoughts on this film, your thoughts on where it lands in the three. Maybe you have a different order. Maybe you like the second one more than the first one. Maybe you like this one better than some of the other ones, I, you know, which would be <laughs> shocking. But I'm sure there's someone out there that, that goes that way. So uh, feel, feel free to throw that in there in the comment section. And, uh, you know, we, we can talk about that as well. So uh, with that, I guess I'll catch you in the next review, horror fans.